Hi guys, it's Rihanna the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 73 on SL exam P. So we'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So as with any other transformation problem, we're going to start off with the CDF of the function they're asking for. So that's going to be f of y. Right, which is equal to the probability that big Y is less than little y. And you know big Y is given by this thing right here, the probability that 10x.8 is less than y. Okay, okay. And solving for x here, because we do know that x is an exponential function with mean is equal to one. So once we can get it in terms of x, it's kind of easy for us to figure this out. So then this is probability that x.8 is less than y over 10, probability that x, so technically we can do like times 1 over 0.8 to cancel it out, so we just have to do times 1 over 0.8 here on this side, so you get x is less than y over 10 to the 1 over 0.8, which is equivalent to saying 1.25, ooh, magic, and then now we're ready to rock and roll, so we're looking for x is less than this value here, and x, um, x is an exponential function, which means it's going from 0 to infinity, so from 0 to y over 10 to the 1.25 of 1 over lambda e to negative t over lambda. But this is honestly the CDF, so we know the CDF is equal to 1 minus e to the negative t over lambda, where t is the upper limit. Right? You can honestly solve this if you want, but this is something that we do know about the exponential distribution, so we're going to use that here, 1 minus e to the negative t, which is 1 over 10 to the 1.25, divided by lambda, where lambda is just 1, so we're just going to leave it as is. But again, this, remember, is the f of y, the big f of y. But what we're asked to find is f of y, which is exactly just the derivative of y, so we're going to take the derivative of this sucker right here. One derivative is just zero. Taking the derivative of this, this is a little bit tricky, but th think of it just kind of like the same thing as e to the negative 6x squared or something like that. You know that the derivative here is going to be at the exponent. The first exponent still is the same, but then you just take the chain of the, this sucker here, which is negative 12x, right? So same idea here. When I take the um, derivative, the negative negative cancels out, so it makes a positive e to the negative y over 10 to the 1.25 times the chain of this, so then the exponent comes front, so that's 1.25, and you drop the exponent by minus 1, right, it went from 2 to 1, so that's going to be 0.25, times the chain of the inside here, so that's going to be just 1 over 10. So simplifying this a little bit further, you get this is equal to e to the negative y over 10, 1.25, times 0.125 y over 10 to the 0.25 power, which is exactly just the answer e. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share.